Hello, this is Jody Rowe, Diane Smith, and Denise Wright. Today, we will be exploring ways to remix your curriculum with Scratch. Scratch is a free website that can be used for coding. The coding options are endless and can be used across many curriculums. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started remixing your curriculum with Scratch. So, we are going to be talking about how to remix your curriculum with Scratch. And we have created this Google site that will hopefully uh, help you with those items as you go and help you if you're not sure of what Scratch exactly is and just where to get started and also find some resources for your specific curriculum. So just to get started as an overview, um, Scratch uh, is a coding site, which we have a tab here for what is Scratch. And so when you go to visit that tab, it's a free coding and online community where you can create your own interactive stories, games, and animations. Um, this helps students to think creatively, reason systematically, and work collaboratively, which are many skills that we're trying to teach our students in the 21st century. This is more focused for sixth through 12th graders, but there is a site called Scratch Junior that does exist for younger students. On this page, um, we highly suggest that as you use Scratch that you set up a teacher account because that way you can set up classes and then that way you can see as your students join what your students are actually doing. If you log in just uh, as a random login, then you can create things and save them, but you would not be able to see what your students are doing. This right here explains how this link to set up your teacher account. Also on this page, we have some resources about Scratch and getting started. They have tons of free resources out there. The ideas page is a great place to get started. There's some coding cards and activity guides and starter projects along with tutorials. And then we do have some bonus resources here um, for how to use it across the curriculum, which we're gonna go over uh, very briefly on our video today. So across our top here, we have some of the different curriculum and subject areas, and we've set up each page uh, very much in the same way of how to use it in that class, some examples of how it could be used, and some resources. So using Scratch in science class could do a lot of different things here, demonstrating scientific models, exploring scientific vocabulary or concepts, physics simulations and animations, and support your class content. The Scratch um, program can be paired with additional items called micro bits as well. Here in the middle, we have a few examples of some science creations, and these can be found as you search Scratch um, or search through Google. There's a lot of resources out there. And then as you scroll down, there are some linked resources to how you can actually, again, use this more so in your science class or create a studio where you can house different items that students have created. Sometimes these things can even be used just by the teacher as a visual aid, but certainly we're looking to use it for your students to be very creative. In ELA, Scratch can be used uh, for to practice vocabulary, digital storytelling, poetry with illustration, stories, writing, book reviews, and character analysis. And again, here in the middle, we have a few examples of some of those options and then some resources here at the bottom as well that relate to ELA. For math, this can be used quite a bit and it helps students can explore math concepts such as sequencing, loops, um, events, operators, and so forth, and um, algebraic thinking, numbers, operations, geometry, and et cetera. And again, here's quite a few examples of how that could work, some simulations and art things here, and then uh, quite a few resources down at the bottom. And then we have social studies, can be used to create a story, animate a character in history, or create a game to reflect on certain events, or vocabulary, and timelines is a big thing with social studies. So um, again, here's a few examples of some um, scratch made social studies items and some resources. And then the art and music tabs, even if you do not teach art or music, we highly suggest that you even might look at these because some of these could be integrated in with the project um, with another curriculum. So Scratch can be used in art by enabling students to create products that include elements of music, design, drawing, and dance. So we've got some um, example creations here, string art, interactive art, a flip, flip book. Um, but again, here's an example of math art with squares. So you've kind of combined math and art and some resources here at the bottom. And then on the music page, um, for music class specifically, you can choose instruments and add sounds, 
Press keys to play, create a music video. This is where this could be used in another subject area. Create a story about a musician, uh, make up beats or songs. And there is another item that can be utilized with Scratch called a makey makey. And here again are some examples and some resources. Um, so one other thing is when you go to Scratch's website and we, um, as you do that, you can search for things, but you will find, like I mentioned, that there are many of the, um, on the ideas page is a great place to start because there's activity guides, coding cards, and even those starter projects to help you. And a lot of them relate back to creating stories and making games and things like that that might be your first starting point. Scratch could be used as a choice for students as well. Uh, if you're thinking, how can I fit this into my curriculum? Um, it could even be utilized as a choice as just a different option. If you have any questions, um, we have our email addresses down here as you get started. Certainly, please reach out to us. If you make anything, your students make anything, please send those our way because this website is going to be run kind of like a blog and we want to keep adding to it. Thanks so throughout. much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like this cast podcast and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.